Yes, dear? And Gertrude! What is it, dear? He makes me play the same skill over and over and over again. Does he want me to go crazy? But without proper fundamentals, it's impossible. Oh, he always says that. Perhaps she's had enough for today, Mr. Hoffman. Yeah, Miss Bishop. And for all next week, too. If I hate music, why do I have to take lessons? Stop behaving like an infant, Ellen. Who's this? Hello. Hello. You don't remember me, do you? Nope. Ellen, this is your father. Oh. It's been a long time since I've seen you. You were in jail. I'm sorry about that. Did you escape? No, they let you go after you paid up. Sort of like staying after school. Are you going to change your name now? Why? So nobody will know. Do you think I should? Of course. You're ashamed of yourself, aren't you? Aunt Gertrude says you should be. I don't doubt it. Aunt Gertrude probably told you a lot of things. She's quite old enough to understand. Understand what? The coat of Snob Hill once striking you out? A lot of phony respectability? Go upstairs and pack your things. Pack? You can't take her, Dan. Why not? I won't call you here. I don't know you and I don't like you. I won't go, I tell you. I won't. Well, here we are. You see, you can carry bundles after all. No, all provisions dumped in the galley. What does that mean? Oh, so you won't talk, huh? Well, that's a good game, too, but... Let's see, that makes... three days you've been mad at me now. Do you know, I was once champion of the world at not talking. Or I should have been. I once lived with a fellow in one room. Half as big as this one. And one day he said to me, I challenge you. And do you know what happened? For three whole weeks, I didn't say a word. I didn't whistle, I didn't sneeze, I didn't even cough. For three whole weeks. And then I suppose you told him you were in jail. Did you have to tell a grocery man and the butcher as if you were proud of it? Bring those things into the kitchen. I said bring those things into the kitchen. Aren't you going to eat anything? Why do you hate Aunt Gertrude? Did you ever ask Aunt Gertrude why she hated me? I didn't have to. You stole and went to jail. It's true, isn't it? Yes. What did you steal? Money. From a pocketbook? No, it was just a scandal. That's what they call stealing lots of money. In a business way. Like the president of a company? That's right. Look here, Ellen. Did you ever know that your mother lived in Aunt Gertrude's house? Yes. Well, when I married your mother, I wanted her to have a house just like that. I had to get it fast any way I could. I wanted to keep her in the surroundings she was used to. Exactly like it? Yes. So, I risked my company's money on a deal that looked like quick profit. It turned out very badly and a lot of people lost their money because of me. You see, Ellen, I wanted your mother to keep up with Aunt Gertrude and her friends. You understand, don't you? I think that was a stupid thing to steal for. I won't go in there. Why not? School's fun. Much better than tutors, and you'll make a lot of friends. Not for long, I won't. They'll find out about you. Oh, I don't think they'll feel that way. I know they will. But they needn't find out. How can they? Don't you tell everybody you meet the first thing? Oh, well, and I've tried to explain that... That you stayed after school for seven years and have nothing to be ashamed of. Well, maybe you haven't. But I didn't do anything. I didn't go to jail. 
The grocery man thinks it's so funny, but everybody isn't so dumb. All right. Let's turn over a new leaf, beginning right now, a sort of a bargain. You go to school, and I'll pretend I'm just plain Mr. Sparling. How is that? You're sure? Hope to die. Okay. But you be careful. And Ellen has never been registered in a public school? No, you see, we've traveled a great deal. Unfortunate, her education had to be neglected. Well, she's had excellent tutors. Just ask me some questions. History, geography, grammar... And music. That will be done at once, so you won't lose any more time. What is your full name? Daniel Joseph Sparling. Occupation? He's in the newspaper business. Has been for seven years, haven't you? That's correct. Ellen, you should be doing your homework. I'll do it tonight. Oh, leave her alone. I'll help her with her arithmetic. I got so good count the days I had left in the Huskow that now I can add without my fingers. What's the matter, you quitting? Dinky, come here. Yeah? We don't talk about jail around here. Oh? Huh? Yeah, Dinky, we have a little understanding about that, see? Oh, sure, sure, I get you. Well, holy smokes, what am I going to talk about? I ain't been any place else for ten years. Maybe you better not talk at all, then. Yeah, that's a nice... Huh? Go on, get to work. Hello. Uh, hello, Mr. Fulton. I'm glad to see you. Well, you're getting along. This may look like a newspaper someday, if you're not careful. Look like one. Oh, <laughs> listen. Civil War? 1861. Revolutionary War? 1776. War of 1812? War of 1812. Aren't you funny? <laughs> if your teacher gives you less than 100 in history, I'll write an editorial about her. Now for some other questions. Try me. What was the circulation of the Daily Citizen this morning? 126,415. Good girl. And now... Final question. What is Ellen Sparling's bedtime? When she gets tired, and she isn't tired. Zero for that one. Go to the bottom of the class and to bed. Alex. Uh-uh. Stay right where you are, young lady. Oh, hello, Ellen. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Hello and good night. It's past your bedtime. Come along, honey. Sure you won't forget about the War of 1812? Uh-uh. <laughs> Good night, dear. Good night, Daddy. I'll be late if I don't hurry. Goodbye. Say, what's the matter? Aren't you going to the office today? Oh, I will, later. Well, wish me luck in my test. When was the War of 1812? 1843. Goodbye. Well, um, come here. What's the matter with you, anyway? Oh, nothing, nothing. I was just going to... Well, anyway, don't you funk in your test. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> now. Didn't the first bell ring yet? No, not yet. And I ran like 60 to get here. Did you study? stand and apologize? Go on, I dare you to. You're just afraid. That's what you are. Afraid I'll beat you up. Come back, Ellen. I 
I think you'll be glad to know we're going south tonight. South? It isn't even Thanksgiving. You don't look well. I'm sure you'll be taking colds if we wait. I don't want to go. You can if you want to. I'm doing this for your sake, Ellen, not mine. Then you needn't bother. The fact of the matter is, your father is involved in some sort of trouble again. Trouble? What did he do? I don't see that that makes any difference. What did he do? It was a robbery with another man. I don't believe it, Aunt Gertrude. You're just saying that because you don't like him. Don't be stubborn and childish. Perhaps you feel differently about going away. Everybody in town is reading that. Flint! You insisted upon knowing. It isn't true, Aunt Gertrude. Would Miss Bronson dare to print that if it weren't? Yes, she would, on account of the election. But, but you're so dumb, you wouldn't even know about that. But you do know it's a lie about him, don't you? And that's why you wanted to take me away. But, but don't you go telling this story, do you hear? Because she's going to take it back. Get out of my way. Ellen, where are you going? To help my father. Ellen. 